Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about combining numbers and strings using the num to string function, and then we'll do an example problem. Example problem that requires um, the num to string function and um, the char function that we talked about last time. So first, actually, I'm going to run this part of the program so it's easier to explain. Here we have um, names that's assigned. A character array of size 4 by 8 um, and it belongs to the class char here we have a, um, a matrix of 4 by 1 matrix notice the prime sign right here so it's a 4 by 1 matrix that contains the elements 98 95 90 and 40 um, so the question is how do I put a vector together with a character array so that so that when you put these two together you get something that looks like this table right here a um, few obvious things that will come to your mind are can't we just use um, put them inside a bracket and then um, separate them by uh, using commas and the answer is no you cannot do that here as you can see you cl clearly cannot do um, names, comma, or grades in bracket, um, in, in a set of brackets. And you also cannot use the char function to do it. Um, so if I do char, um, char all grades, comma, um, I mean names, comma, all grades, you will not get um, the table you want it. So because you can't you can't directly do that there is a built-in function in MATLAB that allows you to do that and it's called the num to string function it is exactly what it sounds like num to string it says turn numbers into strings um, so the basic format for using the num to string function is variable name on the left is assigned num to string and then inside you have the matrix name so for example we want to turn this um, made four by one matrix called all grades into um, into a string. Uh, what you would do is you would take you would say okay, the variable name grades is assigned um, num to string, and inside you put all grades. So what it will do is it will turn all grades into um, into into a string. Here you can I already ran the program, so you can see that grades is a type. Um, character so it belongs to class character and this belongs to the class double um here I'll, there's another way of seeing the class so you would say who's here so you can see right here that all grades um belongs to class double while grades belongs to the class char because now grades is a string um and once you use this num to string function you can actually um Put the put both names and grades together. So names, comma, grades. Since I've already used the num to string function here, I can run it, and then you'll get the table you wanted, or at least something close to it. So there, are, you wanted spaces in between, but um, this is close enough. So this is how you would um, put uh, numbers together with strings by using the num to string function. Um, let's do an example problem with it because it always helps to do example problems with with MATLAB. So the goal here is to replicate the following table exactly um, by using nothing but the char function. So you, you are allowed to use other lines of codes, but the main function you'll be using is the char function to print this table. Um, so so let's jump in. Let's start it. Um, the first thing you want to do is print the first line of the table, um, which says names, comma. I mean names, space, space, space. Um, grades. So you would do names, and then grades. Then you have the second line, um, and you would do the same thing. You have just a bunch of equal signs here, so you write that. Now you you go to the body. Um, of the of the table and then you want this but we already saw that right here it's basically the same thing as data um, which is equal to names comma grades 
Um, so you would do inside brackets names comma grades and once you've done now that you have everything you can just put it inside the char function and char function you use it to print stuff in um, exactly so if you recall from the last video um, what the char function does is it says okay so if I put L1 comma L2 comma uh, L1 comma L2 comma body what it will do is it will print the first line go to the next line print the second line go to the next line and print this so it will go so from this table it will print this first then it will say go to the next line print this go to the next line print this this and they will keep doing that until it um, finishes what uh, what we ask it to ask it to do um, so here it will print if I run this it will print this so now you, there's, there's still a problem because you wanted there to be spaces in between the easiest way to fix this and the lazy of doing it is just by adding spaces at the end here by the names um, and that should fix the problem but there are other ways of doing it and I might talk about that um, in a different video okay so if I run this as you can see it, it, it fixed it a bit but um, not by a lot so you would have to go back and fix it again um, there's a better way of doing this and it's by using a function called um, fprintf function and I will talk about that in the next video and then after that I want to do more example problems um, I think I'll do two more long example problems this, are, this one was pretty short um, but I'll do more example problems definitely so you can get more practice with that um, thank you for watching. See you next time.